All right. If you could put your name in the document, uh, that would be awesome. Name and uh, affiliation. And so the agenda is um, sort of collecting what we've been talking about. And yeah, please feel free to add stuff um, and sort of formalizing something that we can work with moving forward. And um, folks are putting their names here since they're such a small group and we all know each other, I think we can skip introductions. Um, so um, basically the community support text, there's an example of it in Slack. Mm -hmm. And we may want to refine that uh, in some fashion. And one thing we're going to want to do is um, figure out where are all the places um, where it needs to go. So. I'm going to share my screen while you, you talk along so we can have in the minute meetings the screen because you were unable to share your screen last time. No, I can share my screen. Okay, why don't you share your screen while you're typing there? Oh, oh, you know what that was? Actually, let me check and see if I can because that's right, I forgot I'm on it. Yeah, I think that e makes it easier for people who are who might be watching this afterwards. Right, let me see if I did enable that. Thought I did. Okay, and there we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so OKDIO okay, website. Um, so yeah, so the, the one of the things that we might be able to do here real quickly is just knock out some of the places um, where we would want to put that text. So um, I'm thinking the website, um, the, oh, someone already started there, readme, yeah. readme.md in the repo. And what else, what other places would seem, we've already got it in Slack, but we should, let's. I would put it in the, um, in the message that comes um, in a description with the OKD Google forum. So groups, the groups.google forum. Oh yeah. That's the other place. Where else? Uh, we don't have a Twitter account. No, we don't. Um, purposefully, um, um, but probably because then I'd have to maintain it. <laughs> we use the OpenShift one. So um, yeah. we might, um, yeah, I think because it's it's so tied directly into OpenShift um, in terms of promoting it, um, OKD, we might, um, I don't know. I, I, Periodic. We don't have to worry about that one right now. Are there any other places, other places that we can think of where the community support text would would, would be a helpful place to put it? Um, well, there is, and I will keep keep you guys posted. There is a movement afoot to redo the community links on OpenShift.com itself. Um, so there might be, depending on how we do it, but on OpenShift.com, if you go to, let me just see. Find it here quickly. Um, if you go to openship.com, there is a drop down for um, community, and one of them, one of the links is takes you just it just takes you straight to open okd.io so but there is a, a movement afoot to um, reshape that community landing page on openshift.com so um, when we get that done I 
I'll keep keep an eye on that and see if we can add some verbiage there. Excellent. Is there any other place that folks can think of? It doesn't have. To, I guess we don't have to exhaust all of our resources. Um, now we can ask the greater group to next week. But I think this is a good start. Um, okay, the next thing to sort of um, come up with a list for is labels for member interests. So this came up in terms of creating subgroups for um, people voicing interest if they want to be involved in support, you know, part of the more direct support group. Um, you know, the people that would get tapped if there's a particular type of question, et cetera. So what are some of the, the labels that we can think of for interests? What are some of the labels that people might want to associate to themselves? Um, and this would be so, for example, in the attendance document, someone could put, you know, um, like this and then be interested in support and, you know, documentation. Uh, Etc. I think there's I think um, that, it, that we could put in one one label. I mean, yes, support, but the other one could be something specific to the um, like Fedora Core OS, like an FCOS person. Okay, there we go. Yeah. FCOS, and then the different. Um, to me, it would be helpful to know who's who's it willing to talk about um, deploying on VMware on different on the different deployment um, platforms. Deployment platforms. Yeah. So you know, like some VMware. of them you have to distinguish UPI versus IPI as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In particular VMware. Yeah. So so I think that's that that's the that that would be key for me. And then um the documentation. Um and Um, uh, and, and one category for, um, I, I don't know what the word is, but um, maybe Bruce, you, you, you could come up with one, um, uh, public speaking, like uh, people who are willing, who are willing to promote, to prom evangelizing, I guess that's the word, evangelizing. Well, we'd all be evangelists. We are all evangelists, theoretically. Is there maybe a better word? Willing to, um, like, yeah. if I meetup.com yeah. region i can tap them to go yeah. to what's what's a good word other than evangelist though because we're all evangelists so like what would be a word that's then perhaps just public speaking public speaking yeah um willing to be called by diane mm -hmm. public speaking um and uh, public references be what what do you mean by that well i'm trying like like at umich you guys have a deployment of open of, of okd mm. so um, and at the, i'm not sure whether this is member interest but um i, I don't know the other forget that one for now because that's something else um okay. i'm thinking i'm trying to think the other thing is workloads so we have deployment platforms and that we're specific about, but like someone might be a data science person, someone might be, um, you know, a teaching, like an EDU thing. So like a distinguish on specific workloads, um, like automotive or right. um, edge or thing, you know, those different categories. Hi, Michael, welcome. Sorry, I'm late. So maybe I'm thinking with these types of things, it might be better to have maybe a profile for each member that wants, like, and we have like a profile page where folks just add, and this would be good because we don't actually have a list of working group members, like a list anywhere that's like, these are the working group members. Um, well, I, I, and that's because people that, can drop in and out, you know. That's an interesting thing um, to say because all it takes to be a working group member at the moment um, is to join the Google group, right? So, um, so there's a distinction between, um, I'd say, um, active participants in the working group, like people who attend meetings, which is why I take the attendance, um, people who consider themselves um, 
enlisted or subscribed to the working group and um, maybe co-chairs like so three levels of that and um yeah, and I and I don't know exactly how to how to break that down, but um, I think there are a lot of pe there are a lot of lurkers, and I, that's not a great phrase for um, those those lurkers. But trying to get them, and that and that brings me back to, a bit to the the public reference, like willing to say that they are, um, you know, end end users, you know, of OKD. They actually are using it in production or. Um, on, on, in home labs or wherever it is, and maybe, and maybe one of the, the other um, categories could be home labs. So besides, because that seems to be one of the most popular. Yeah. Now Christian <laughs> did link to a um, a document. I geez, I I didn't grab the link. Um, I'll have to dig through the the notes. But there was a link to something that was in the charter of the group too, like people having different like uh, categories of interest or, or whatever, but I guess it never got fleshed out. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll do this now and then I'll take a look at that link when, the, when I get a chance um, yeah. and make sure that it aligns or point out where it might not align with what was done initially in the um, charter for the group in terms of these uh, labels. Um, I think I, oh, the other ahead. thing, uh, the only other thing I would add here to call out because it's such a popular topic is um, home labs mm. for people for home lab. I mean, we have deployment platforms, but I think I would call out specifically home labs. Yeah, that is a very hot topic. Yeah. Um, so that so that I would leave it at that for now because I think workloads has to get expanded and we'll have to figure out we have the taxonomy document for platforms, but um, the other thing that I wanted to cover, I think I shoved it into the, um, was the pair review progress. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if, I know Bruce is doing double time and Michael's here, but I'm wondering if um, Mustafa and, and Bruce, if you got any more work done um, or if Michael, you saw any more tagging um, by Mustafa. Um, there were four on, or five in that initial push. In the initial push, but did any more um, get added after the fact? Yeah, I don't know. Mustafa was going to uh, go off and work on it, uh, and I, I didn't check up on him. I haven't noticed any emails. I'll, I, I'll, I'll go back and take a look. And then yeah, it should, make sure. it should be easy enough to look in the issues list um, yeah. and, and grab See see if there are any because I just you know I don't want to um, I don't want to drop the ball on it. But, um, I do want to keep tabs on it and see if that worked for you, Michael. And um, I did not have access to add any labels to it. And I'm wondering if you if you have access, Michael, to add labels beyond yes. like okay in that. And if you did that, yes, I did. Okay. Can we put a few links into um, this document of some of those issues, those four? Yeah, if anyone wants to add them, go right ahead. Sure. Michael, you have you them handy, Bruce? I go find them just a second. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And that way um, we can, I'd like to use the same um, approach you do in the the um, main meeting, Jamie, and walk through those issues um, and see, just see what the status is of them. Uh, my concern is that Mustafa, who I'm sure, is now getting gobbled up um, and worked on, is working on a number of other projects as well, is that this drops through the cracks. Um, and, and I really wanted to um, make sure that we had a good process in place and then try and do that um, hack the docs day sometime this summer. And the other thing that I had, Jamie, um, you should um, get an invite um, you're optional on it um, 
to come to basically I think it's she's um, Mustafa's boss is um, has a whole uh, we all know they, they have a whole swath of other um, folks that they want to run through this program um, and get them up to speed on using OKD and, and uh, Shalafi is her name I'm not sure if you have an invite in your inbox Jamie but I asked them to include you um, in the they want to have a conversation about how to do this um, uh, and utilize those they're called customer facing engineers CFEs did you get an okay. invite I did when would that have come it was just today early this morning so uh, uh, I don't see it but I'll check my spam folder okay and I'll just um, I'll add you I'll just go check now and, and add you to the okay. meeting if you yeah. okay great it's early morning me on Thursday yeah OKD strategy and CFE interlock and I'm gonna forward this to you <laughs> Just uh, that you weren't on the invite, so I just resent it with you as and just a note saying that you're optional. Uh, if you can't make it, that's okay. Awesome, uh, thanks. What I'm trying to do is get them to sync up with us and then come to the next meeting um, and make sure we're all on the same page here. But not waste um, Vadim and Christian's time or Charo's time. Um, Did you guys find any of those links, or am I just looking in the wrong? Put screen? one in the chat. Okay, yeah, I found I'll those copy two OKD the only ones yeah, that were I'll actually labeled them. or tags. Yeah. 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 Uh... Didn't label the issues. I label my PRs. Believe me. Yeah, we couldn't. Um, yeah. add, so that was part of the problem. So, um, and we haven't solved that mystery yet. Not sure we can. I thought I, uh, that's what I was asking earlier. So you you aren't able to add labels. I can yes. I just I did not label the issues. I labeled my uh, my PRs to fix the issues. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's those. Um, This is a, there's about four of them in there. Try and get, capture them all here. No, maybe there's only three. Ah, Michael got that before I did. I was just about to push, paste that one too. Okay. I think there's you only got them three. All are they in the dock now? Yeah, so no further work has happened. So I'll ping Mustafa and see. No, here's the other one. These these are the four.
both yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what I, I I really like Jamie the way that you run the uh, other meeting too, and using the issues um, approach, like looking at each of these and seeing what's missing if it if it's been fixed, um, and just walking through them. And I'll ping Mustafa and see if he's had any an ubu. Um, and not able to, to do any further work on it. So, okay. If we could walk through each of these and maybe get a, um, a status. Yeah, let's start with this here. All right, let's start with the first one and uh, share my screen again. Okay, deprecated features one. Okay, we can close that one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it is closed. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is closed. Looks like. Okay. And the next one. Should not mention our costs. And. Oh, maybe we should do that. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, cool. And this one's still open. And he hasn't responded to your request. All right. yeah, so, so this is um, installing a cluster. Um, so yeah, so Thanks. I think we need a response on that before we can. Yeah. 18 instances of our cost in it, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the image name was that you pulled down. Yeah, so I'll just I'm just going to ping him in Slack now and see if if he has Bruce. Do you have an answer to that? I I don't think so. Let me just see if I can. I believe that that was the one where there was a uh, uh, a long template that uh, for installation. Uh, so the idea was that you would have to uh, update it and test it before changing the uh, document. So that was right. that was going to be a bit uh, non-trivial. Yeah. Because if he if he's not able to do it, that's what I'm, you know. If he's just if if the mode that we're in right now is that um, Mustafa can only go through and tag them and find them, but he can't finish them, then these are low hanging fruit right. um, that we can bring to next week's meeting and um, see if we can't get someone to take it on. Um, yeah. So let's look at the other one too. Is the other one similar to that? Yeah, I didn't expect Mustafa to actually be able to fix all of them. Uh, I think there is some advantage in just uh, opening issues on them. Yeah. And then somebody else that can go in and uh, uh, try out a fix. And of course, there, there were a few of them that were easy documentation changes that you probably didn't have to test. Uh, yeah, there are a couple I could push right through. I was hoping Vadim could just sanity check them. Right. And so is this one, this one's still open too. Example is incorrect. And El Michael right. was about, was going to do something on it. 
Um, but it doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like, yeah. And I did in the chat post that that is, it's uh, OSID, I think Fedora was what we came up with that it should be. Why oh, is that? I closed this one too. Oh, it is closed. The wrong spot. Yeah, I close this one. Closed. Oh. So, yeah. so Mohammed, um, I, I don't know what your interest is in and in helping out here, but um, and and um, if you've done deployments of OpenShift or if you're part of the customer-facing engineering team, or are you a Red Hatter? Uh, hello, uh, I'm. Honestly, not a Red Hatter. Uh, I couldn't participate in the board. Uh, I'm actually part of a community. I successfully once deployed an OKD 4.6, I guess. Uh, and it was after three months of uh, trial and error. Uh, it was so hard, actually. And I actually get sucked in for a while. And uh, that's why I'm participating here. And I don't know what the sort of work should I put into this group. So that's why I actually, it's, I guess it's my fourth session that I'm cooperating. But I don't know what should I add to this community. Yeah. So I, th I think you have a, ve a valuable point of view, to be quite honest, um, because you're so fresh to it. So. Um, and, and as we pull out, tease out these um, documentation things, um, it might be one way you could help is helping us find the errors in the documentation. Um, and that's what we're trying to um, okay. figure out. And I know some of the low hanging fruit is just simply incorrect, late, incorrect use of the word um, rel core OS. That was the thing we were going for with um, Mustafa um, and Bruce last week and so just finding any references in the docs.okd.io um, where they incorrectly you know say use rel core os and they you know instead it should be um, fedora core os so that was that that's the test of this yes. process that we're iterating on now so um if if you wanted to go into docs.okd.io and even log find find that that would be great using this format that we're we've been talking about the past couple of weeks. That would probably be a good way to help us a little bit um, and um, get get your feet wet. I was hoping you were on the customer facing engineering okay. team. <laughs> so um, and then because uh, this Jamie is uh, probably the easiest thing to ask um, Shalefi on Thursday to get people to help us with as well. Um, and I have an outstanding, I need to write a little blog post based on Bruce and uh, Mustafa's experience on how to do this. The thing that, and, and, and that, that could be your template, Muhammad, for going and adding new ones is what I'm, I think I, I owe everybody is a little blog post on OKD.io. Um, so, you know, help us hack the docs kind of thing. So I'll do that um, later today and get that published in time and, and, and share it with you. Um, the questions I have, I think, are still from Michael Burke, um, because I think it's, we're, since we're not able to label things, um, if we simply just put in brackets OKD and in the title, is there anything else we could put in um, to the description to let you know that it's it needs to be labeled as documentation so it shows up on your radar. I'm just trying to, since I don't have privileges to label anything and you seem to be the only one, um, and like Muhammad couldn't get it and Bruce probably won't get it, uh, you know, that those kinds of privileges to label things. Um, what is what is it? What is enough to get it on your radar to look at, Michael? I think just assigning it to me. Right, that'll okay. send me an email. Okay. And if we have just, OKD in the title, I'll see that right off. My okay, so the, so the slash assign Michael Burke and Diane Mueller works. 
for you? Yes. What, yeah. Okay. And then can we ask you to add the two labels? And OPD then the only? And then I will do that. The next step. So for these four, if you even if you can just go back in time, so they're good examples. Okay. Um, Sorry, what are the two would... labels? Okay, the only and and um, documentation. The one. Oh, okay. Is... Yeah, so that it's clear that it's documentation. Done. So that that would be good. And you do that, then I'll have those four ones, and I will use them as examples in my um, thing. And I might clean up the titles on a couple of them because they should all have OKD in the brackets, and I think one of them does not. So, um, but yeah, that's a pretty simple process when you find something, and um, you know, then it's. And, and we can move them forward. But I think there were, I, Bruce, you counted at least 20 um, odd references, and we only have four listed here. Yeah, well, that, that, I mean, that was approximate. I didn't count. Uh, yeah. And uh, as I say, my understanding was that uh, the, the point was that Mustafa was going to uh, take that as a task to finish that off. Uh, if it turns out that he doesn't, you know, he doesn't have time to do that, then you could uh, just send it back my way. I will. Yeah, and maybe and maybe um, Mohammed, um, and that's that's the simplest one. And what I was trying to do was get all of those ones done before the next real working group meeting. Um, or not not that we're not real today. Full working group meeting. Full working group. Thank you for the correction there. Um, the correct label. Um, so that we could then ask everybody else and I'd have that blog post done um, for that, you know, and we could do a little update um, there and ask other people to take a look at docs.okd.io um, and use the same format. And then the ones that, you know, Mustafa um, can answer. So I, I suspect the one that you've got him tagged in there asking for deeper examples and, and the non-trivial ones. We can ask people if they could take a look at them in the, in the full meeting. That's, that's what I wanted to get through today. Okay, excellent. Let's move on now to, are there any new projects that people want to add to the list? This is kind of a full plate for us right now, so maybe um, these would be down the road. But is there anything else you can think of in terms of documentation? Uh, well, we, that we should put on our radar. Well, it's not a new project. It's moving, um, um, Michael McCune's moving of the guides over mm -hmm. under OKD.io is still not completed yet. So I would say, and I'm not sure what the. Okay, I put that in. Uh, and yeah. I would have like a question mark for status, so um, we can get the, the status of that. Uh, any other things that we should have? Um, this seems pretty full, but um, that's it. Uh, that's from my point of view, we, yeah. you know, it's the blog post is um, on my radar. I'm I'm, I'm sitting in Summit this today and tomorrow, so I ought to be able to get it done because the chat's pretty quiet and um, not answering too many questions. But I think that's that that's the next step. If Mike Burke is okay with what we have, I'll document, I'll document it by blogging. And then it will have, to, once we've shown it to everybody else, we probably need to find a place for um, how to document uh, how to document, how to log an issue, a docs issue in the repo documentation somewhere. Yeah. So that would be the other. But we'll, we'll get there when we get there. But I don't have any new projects and I don't really want any new projects at this moment. Anybody <laughs> else that they really want? I think that's about it, and so we can give people back their time and let them go enjoy uh, the uh, happenings uh, at the virtual event.
And uh, next week is the full group meeting. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll have someone who was in this meeting sort of provide an overview of what we discussed and sort of report into the to the larger group. And the idea would be that as um, and at the next meeting, I'll I'll be sort of walking through folks through the idea of creating subgroups. But the idea is as we have mul multiple subgroups coming, be it the support subgroup or the documentation or the um, whatever subgroups, like each one would report in uh, at the main group meeting, and I think that would be that would be good and keep things organized as well. So, so I'm just asking in the chat, um, Muhammad, if you don't mind, could you send me your email address? And what I'll use you for is a guinea pig on the blog post, um, and get okay. your feedback on that. Um, and because I, and then. And I'll share it with Bruce as well. Um, but that way, if something's missing or you you need more detail, you can let me know. Diane, what's the status of possibly getting a, a slot on OpenShift TV? Has that moved forward at all? Yeah, um, and we can definitely do that. Um, I so I was definitely there's Mike McEwen. There we go. Um, oh, I'm gonna. So maybe Mike can give us an update. Um, definitely, we can do it. I'm thinking monthly um, on Fridays at the same time slot um, would be a good time. You know, once a month, and we just have an OKD Fridays or Mondays. Um, and I was just going to bring it up again at the next full meeting. But yeah, depending on what you guys' schedule is, um, that would be great. And I was also should have said um, I got a note from. Um, Joseph Myers, who um, got his vaccine shot today and is under the weather. So um, he could not come today. All right, Mike, any update on the transitioning of the guides to the repo? Sadly, no update. I've you know just been swamped with kind of day-to-day -day stuff. Um, I'm still trying to learn that framework. Um, that's in the in the other side to like in the on the doc site to like push everything there. So I have an idea of how I'd like to put the content there. I just don't know the technology yet. And this daytime stuff is just taking up too much of my processing power, basically. Sure. All right. Well, keep us posted. Anything else yeah, you I mean, want to bring to our attention? We're sort of winding down, yeah, so. so. Yeah, no, I apologize for being late. Um, yeah, I, I am keeping track of that stuff. I would like to to get a PR in there. It's just, you know, we, we just did the 4.8 release and our team is, uh, this is kind of extra detail, but our team is working on the out of tree cloud provider stuff that's coming for 4.9. So like right now we're under a crush to get all this out, out of tree cloud provider stuff merged into OCP and get all the tests and everything running before we get to the 4.9 release because that's like we have some drop dead dates for that stuff so like unfortunately i've just been kind of wrapped up in learning about that stuff and doing that um but i would like to get this stuff in there if anybody knows you know if there's anybody out there who knows the framework really well and has time to like do those docs i'd be happy to like pair up with them and just kind of like pass on whatever knowledge i could but otherwise you know hopefully i could do something this weekend or maybe next week I think Joseph, pairing Joseph up with you would be a good thing once Joseph has some time. Yeah, I mean, he seems yeah. to know it really well, and that'd be perfect. If, you know, because all the all the markdown docs are pretty much, like, ready to go from the guide side. It just needs someone to kind of organize them and put them on the doc site. And, like, if I have a feeling it probably wouldn't take more than an afternoon to do this. Um, if someone knows the framework, you know, it'll be really quick for them. It's just taking me a long time to like read up on the framework and figure out what mistakes yeah. I'm making along the way and everything. Yeah. All right, we will uh, put a little note there to pair you up with someone. Good to see your face. I'm not showing my face because I broke my camera. But I will be back tomorrow and I'm just double timing in, in the Red Hat Summit directory today or community central stuff. All right, let's uh, give folks some time back uh, to their days. A lot of folks are sort of pressed for time. I'm pressed for time as well. Um, so next doc meeting in two weeks, next 
uh, full group meeting, a full working group meeting next week. And Mike, I was just saying that basically someone that was in this meeting will sort of provide a, um, a check-in at the full group meeting and sort of go over what was covered here and stuff like that. And um, since you joined late, or I don't know if you saw it in the channel, but here's the um, uh, uh, HackMD uh, uh, agenda document for this meeting that we just had. All right, folks, Thanks. have yourselves a great rest of your day, and I will be to, we'll all see each other, I'm sure, uh, very soon. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you all. Thanks, Jamie.